Customizing Options in Site Settings from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. There are also some customization options for the look of your site found in the settings gear. You can get to this gear either in the top right hand corner of the screen or if you mouse over the banner across the top of your screen you'll find it over there directly underneath the title. It doesn't matter which one you select it's going to give you the same options. The first change that you can decide that you want to make is going to be on your navigation. Do you want your users to navigate from the top of the uh, site or would you rather them have a side option? If I select the side option, you'll see that my navigation is now gone across the top. And if I wanted to then go to another page, I would select the three uh, hamburger lines in the upper left hand corner and then I would have my menu completely up to you. It's what you think will work best for your users. When you go through and choose that, you also have the option of making it white behind your menu, uh, black, or transparent. If it is transparent, you'll see that it will maintain the banner image as you move down the site. The other option that you can do here um, just to customize your site is under brand images. Here you can upload two different logos or the same logo if you wish. The first one where it says logo, this is going to then appear right here beside the title of your site when your viewers are on the site. So again, you can select something or you can upload something. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and select. I'm gonna go into my Google Drive and I'm going to pull up one of our branding images here. So I'm gonna to go to my drive here. I'm gonna go into my brand and I'm going to select our OIT logo. So now that option, that logo is going to show for me right up there beside my title in that upper corner of my site. Notice here I do have the ability to alt, alt text. So this would be for someone who is using a screen reader. So I might say key with OIT on it. The last piece that I could add within this menu is if I scroll down, you'll see I have the option to add a favicon. A favicon is what would show for a site either when it was been bookmarked. So here, for example, uh, this is my G Suite's update blog. So it has a little blogger beside it. Um, here is Google Meet. So you see your little video. That same favicon shows not only in bookmark bars, but also on a tab in the browser. So in this case, you can see I have Brightspace open. And so I have that little orange circle with the B. This is going to be the same process as with uh, uploading that logo. So I'm going to go to my select or upload, and then I would be able to have a new icon there that would uh, differentiate my site from other sites when people have it open. Once you have made your choices there, simply go ahead and hit the little X and close that window out.